Hello everyone, so in today's video I'll be doing a review on this M.2 NVMe PCIe X4 adapter. Let me get it out first. Yes. And uh, you just put your M.2 NVMe in here, and that's all you have to do. Simple as that. First, let me get it in. I think you get it at an angle. Try to get, guess which angle, maybe it's... First let me get the screw out. I need an M.2 NVMe screw. Okay, it does come with an M.2 NVMe screw. That's not a problem, so we just have to put it in first. Like that, put it at an angle, get it in like that. Looks like uh, maybe 20 degrees or something like that. 25 degrees. And then get the M.2 NVMe screw and just put it in here. Something like this is very useful you don't have a uh, if you don't have an M.2 NVMe port so this could be used in older computers and today I will be installing this in my i7-47900 base computer. It has one M.2 NVMe port, but I want another M.2 NVMe drive, so that's why I'm using this adapter. And we're going to put this bracket in because I'm going to connect this into a M.2 NVMe port. Here okay, comes the two screws for, for putting this in. hard to do on camera. The screw goes in just one way. Got that one in. Let me get the next one in. Okay, so they're both in now. And the Phillips head screwdriver that it comes with works for all the screws so no problems here make sure that's all on there nice and firm so now it's ready I can put it into my into an empty um, PCIe Express slot on my computer which I'll be doing next it comes with this screw so you can tighten this thing down in your case basically 
So I'll save that screw. It comes with two additional screws. I think that's for the support. And this is an M.2 NVMe screw. So I'm just going to screw it in here and just keep it as a spare for next time or for maybe another M.2 NVMe thing. So I'll just keep this somewhere safe. Now I will be installing this into a computer. Now I'm back on my computer. So um, my computer has two PCI Express 3.0 X16 slots. So one of them is being used by my GPU and the other one will accommodate this adapter, M.2 NVMe adapter. I don't know if you could see that or not, but it's right here. The second uh, PCIe Express slot. So I'm going to put that in there, basically. It is an X16, however, it will fit a X4 card in there. Not a problem. Just not going to be using all 16 lanes. Nevertheless, you can still use it. So I got it in. Now I'm going to put all the stuff in. So I'm just going to close everything. That's pretty much it. You just get it into the slot. Just push it in. Put the bracket in. Put the screw into the bracket. And then you are done. That's as simple as that. Every case is, is different in the way that it's designed. In this case, I have to remove all the screws, case screws, in order to get this out, which is basically how this case is designed. So I'm just putting all the screws back in here. Pretty much it. That's all you do, really. Now I have an M.2 NVMe, second one in this computer, which didn't originally accommodate an M.2 NVMe because it only came with one M.2 NVMe slot. And the other M.2 NVMe is. Let me take this down. is right there. You see you see where my finger is pointing? Right there. And that's the M.2 NVMe card slot that I just put in. Now I'm ready to go. Now I'll see you at my computer. Okay, so now I'm back on my computer and I'll show you where that drive is. It's already been formatted and uh, partitioned and formatted. So this is the drive. It's a 500 gigabyte M.2 NVMe Western Digital N550 M.2 NVMe. I'll be using Crystal Mark to show you. So C drive is also the same drive. G drive. That's the that's the one. C drive. As you can see, this is X2. This uh, motherboard is a ASUS H97M. So this only has X2 speed. So the speed I have here is X4 PCI. E Express 3.0 times 4. So I, sh I should get about, have a bandwidth of 4 gigabytes per second. Not gigabits, but gigabytes. So I'm going to test it out and see if that's actually the case. 
using Crystal Mark, and I'll be testing out the speed of G Drive. Let's test this out. One thousand six hundred and fifteen point four megabytes. That's one point six one five gigabytes in terms of read speed. Test is not done yet. We'll wait until it completes and I will tell you. Let's see what the write speed is. And I'll be testing C drive as well, which is the exact same M.2 NVMe on this exact same motherboard. So it's about the write speed is 1.373.73 gigabytes or 1,373.73 megabytes. Okay. So now let's test out Okay, let's test out C drive. So C drive is the exact same M.2 NVMe on the M.2 NVMe port. Now I'm going to test that out. And the speed here is going to be less. Because as you saw on that uh, info, it was only PCIe Express 3.0 X2. So as you can see, the speed is about, transfer speed is about half, right? We'll wait until the test completes. Right. Is that I don't know. Okay, it's not completed yet. Okay, now it's done. So seven hundred and eighty three point zero nine megabytes per second or 0 0.783 gigabytes per second so it's about roughly half the speed of um, that uh, M.2 NVMe adapter that I use on a PCIe Express 3.0 x16 slot that's what I put it into but it only has four lanes so it's only going to use four so, as you can see, on this outdated motherboard, on this outdated computer, this computer is quite old. I put it together back in 2014. So that's roughly about nine years ago. And if you want to put an M.2 NVMe drive, you can, but most people don't know that you can do this through a PCIe Express port. And this computer has two PCIe Express ports, so if the second PCIe Express port is not occupied, you can simply put in a uh, adapter like I did in this computer. You could also put this adapter into a computer that doesn't have any M.2 NVMe slot. It could be a computer from back in 2012 or something. They have PCIe Express slots, however, there's no M.2 NVMe slots, but you could you could use this, but however, you cannot you cannot boot. Well, I cannot boot from this drive. That's the disk that I just put in, right? You can't boot from this because um, I don't think uh, those uh, I don't think I don't think that uh, slot could be booted from it. You can't boot from PCIe Express slot. Unless uh, it's in the, it's in your BIOS for you to enable you to do that, right? So in this computer, I can only boot from C drive. So that's what I want to share with you today. Any thoughts or questions, you could leave it in the video descriptions below.